Now let's talk about the CI-CD pipeline for the API management, and I'm going to put a link for this page in the resources of this lecture. Most of the time in your organization you will have more than one API management instance. As you can see in this example here, we have two API management instances, a development instance and a production instance. An API developer wants to do their changes in the development instance, and once they have done their changes and they test it and they are happy with it, they want to automate the deployment to the production instance, and they want to make it as easy as possible and as sustainable as possible. So when the API developers finish the development of the backend functions and creating their API definitions, they are going to go ahead and generate templates, and we call it ARM templates. And this is the key thing here for the DevOps for the API management. It uses ARM templates to migrate the changes between different instances, between development instance and production instance in this example here. Now let's have a closer look at these ARM templates. And as you can see here, we have four ARM templates for the API management. First one is the service template. This is where it gets defined the pricing tier, virtual network, custom domains, and anything will be related to the API management itself. Then we have API templates, and it could be one or multiple templates, based on how many APIs we have created in our API management. Then we have shared templates. This is where it's going to have the shared resources, such as products, subscription key, etc. And then we have a master template that putting together all of these templates in case we want to deploy everything in our API management to the production instance. And all of these ARM templates will be stored in the same code repo that we have created for our API management, if you remember. And then once we have finished our development and we are happy with the testing result, we can create a pull request to deploy a certain template to the production instance. For example, we can choose to deploy LinkedIn API template only to the production instance and leave everything else as it is. And also it's important to make sure that you are doing your changes to the very latest version of your API management. So it's important to fork the ARM templates from production instance to the development instance before you go ahead and do some changes to your API definitions or backend functions. And then you go ahead and generate these templates and then keep going with the pull request and publish to the production instance. This part is very basic part in the Azure DevOps where you are going to fork between different instances or create a pull request to deploy to a different uh, API management instance. However, in this course, I'm going to show you how can we generate these ARM templates from the API definition that we have created in our API management. And I'm going to use Visual Studio Code to show you how can we do this. Here we are in Visual Studio Code and let's go to the Azure tab and we can extract the API management either from the API management extract service here. However, I'm going to go to the demo conference API and extract this API. And as you can see here, we have done Azure login and then trying to get the different operations in the conference API, get session, get sessions, all of these different operations. We're extracting these definitions in the ARM template. Now, if we go back to our project explorer, you will see the different templates have been generated. We have here the master template, as you can see where it contains the definitions for all templates in our API management. And we have a template here for demo conference API, which is the API tem template, which is what we are going to use if we want to deploy conference API template only. And then we have named values template as well. So this is how we can use the Visual Studio Code to extract the definitions of the APIs and generate ARM templates to be used in CI CD. And to make it even easier for you, in this page you'll find some commands where you can use creator or extractor to use command lines to 
extract the definition of your API management to make it easier for you to automate it using Azure DevOps because of course you don't want to go ahead in Visual Studio Code to generate the definitions for your API every single time. That's it for this lecture, I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.